Hey guys, so before I get started, first let me just please excuse the mess. Let me just ask you that first off. I am in the process of packing. We are moving in a little over a week, so I'm really like ramping things up and ramping? I think I just made up a word. You know, I'm really getting it going and I'm getting everything packed up, so sorry for the, the room. It's going to probably be like this for the next few videos, but you guys will still love me, right? So today's video is a nail tutorial. I posted a picture on Instagram using nail foils and so, so, so many of you asked me to do a tutorial and I've been wanting to do a nail tutorial, but I just didn't know what to do. I've done dots, I've done striping tape. I was just kind of like, eh, there was nothing exciting. So when I did the nail foils and this was the first time that I had ever used them, I was so inspired. Like they're just so simple to use and the result is so gorgeous. I forgot to put my wedding ring on. Let me grab that real quick. Ah. So these are the nail foils. I just went on eBay and I searched nail foils and tons of options pop up. I got, I think 12 of them for like five bucks and they come from China. This is what they look like. They come in a strip, so they just have it like, you know, rolled up into this little container. But I just cut a piece off, and you guys will see in the tutorial. Now this did come with a, like a, a glue, I guess. I tried using it with the glue, and it was a freaking disaster. It just did not work. So I find the easiest way to do it is just to put your base polish on. I did two coats of... Blossom Dandy from Essie. I let it dry till it's almost set, till it's like almost totally dry. It just has a tiny bit. If you like press on it, you can kind of see the indentation of your finger. So you kind of have to, that's the toughest part, figuring out when you're ready to do the foils. If you do it too soon, of course the polish gets kind of gummy. If you wait too long, the foils don't stick. So that is the hardest part. Once you get that down, all you do is put the foil on, take like an orange stick, or I took the edge of a, like the, the back side of a nail dotting tool. Some, just something that's like wooden and kind of rounded off, and you just scrape it and the foil goes onto your nail. It is so insanely simple. I will give you guys full everything in the tutorial. I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but I hope you guys enjoy this nail art. If you're a beginner, you can do this. Like I said, the hardest part is just figuring out when to do it. So, I hope you guys like this. Happy New Year. Today is New Year's, but I still wanted to get this filmed for you guys. Whoo, take a breath, Nicole. I love you guys, and enjoy the tutorial. All right, are you guys ready for the easiest tutorial ever? So, I'm working on my index and middle finger, and I was just checking to make sure that my polish was ready to go. And that's the size of the foil that I cut for two nails. You don't even need that much, but I made it big just so you guys could see what I was doing. All you do is place the foil with the shiny side up. Take whatever you're using, an orange stick, or like in my case, I use the back side of a nail art tool. And you just kind of scrape it very gently and pull it away. That is honestly, that's it. Like I said five times, the hardest part is making sure your polish is dry, but not too dry, because if it's too dry, the foils don't stick as well. But I just keep going in different spots on my nail, and depending on how you scrape it, that kind of determines the shape that you get. So you can do like little circles if you want to get fancy. I just do like random shapes and sizes. I think that looks really cool. But I kept this in real time so that you guys could see exactly how I do it. And when I first tried it, I just I just did like the center of my nail. Like I kind of avoided the outer edges and it looked really weird. So when you're doing it, just make sure that you get everywhere on your nail so it looks very uniform, if that makes sense. And I could probably just shut up and let you guys watch this. Um, toward the end of doing this nail, my polish was starting to get a little bit too dry. So the, the foil wasn't taking as well to my nail. Um, if you guys order foils and you get the glue that comes with it, I mean, you're more than welcome to try it. I'm not telling you not to try it. But the glue is, it makes things so much harder. 
So this is absolutely the easiest way. You don't need any special items. All you need is a base color. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Doesn't it look so pretty? Like you would never think it would be this easy. If you guys try it and it doesn't turn out right, don't get discouraged. Just stick with it. Um, I put my base color down two coats of Blossom Dandy and then I waited like three and a half minutes. I wanted to time it for you guys so I could give you an exact time, but I kind of forgot. So now I'm just going back in and just getting any little spots that I missed. And then I went in with my HK Girl top coat. One thing I will say, not all top coats will work well over nail foils. You have to play around. Um, HK Girl does work, but some of them, when you put it on, it'll kind of crumble up the foils. So just trial and error. Find a top coat that works. And that is it. And then this is what we are left with. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, let me know down below. And now back to me. Okay, so I hope you guys liked those nails. I always say the same thing when I come back from like a voiceover. So I hope you guys like that makeup. Always the same thing. But I do. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you try it out. If you do try it out, please tag me on Instagram or Twitter. I always try to retweet when people send me like recreations of mine. I always try to share them with everyone. Yeah, so I hope you guys have a really good New Year's. Again, safe healthy, happy. I hope it's the best year ever for you. And for me, I'm so excited to move. I can't believe it's in like a week. That just is crazy. But you guys will be along for the ride. I am going to start vlogging very soon. I want to vlog the move and everything like that. It's going to be hectic, but I think it'll be fun to see, hopefully. So yeah, um, that's all I have for you guys. Stay so down. thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.